If you're looking to get more views on YouTube, you need to start making custom thumbnails for your videos. A well-designed thumbnail will attract more clicks and can be the main factor that makes your video go viral. Hey YouTube, it's Lucas here from Snappa, and today I'm going to show you how to make a YouTube thumbnail using free customizable templates. Let's get started. Before we begin designing, let's quickly go over the recommended dimensions. The best size for YouTube thumbnails is 1280 by 720 pixels. To make things easy, we're going to use Snappa to design our YouTube thumbnail, because the correct dimensions are built right in. It only takes a few seconds to make a free account, and then you can scroll down and click on the YouTube thumbnail size to view our templates. As you can see, we have a bunch of amazing designs to choose from. All of our templates are fully customizable, so even if you can't find a design that matches the topic of your video, you'll still be able to repurpose it to fit any theme. Once you find your favorite template, just click on it to get started. Now that our canvas is open, I'm going to start by dragging the text up to reposition it. And then I'm going to double click the text box to edit the text. After typing in my first title, I can use the toolbar on the left to change the font. Snappa has a huge selection of great fonts to choose from. And after making my selection, I'm going to click here to increase the size of my text. Next, I'm going to double click the other text box and type in my second title. This time, I'm going to choose a font that's a bit more bold, and I'm going to decrease the size so that it fits well within our canvas. I can also use the sliders to adjust the letter spacing and the line height, and I'll drag the text up to reposition it. If you want to change the color of your text, you can just click here, or you can also type in a hex code of your choice. Now, I'd like to change the background image, so I'm going to click on the Backgrounds tab and select Photos. I can then use the search bar to look up something specific. Snappa has a huge stock image library with millions of free photos to choose from. I can scroll through and click on an image to add it to my canvas. I'm also going to click the Reposition button at the top to adjust the size and position of my background image so that it fits under the text and then I can just click Apply to set the changes. Now if I go to the Effects tab, I can see that this template has the saturation set to negative 100, which is why the photo is black and white. If I wanted to bring in the color, I can just drag the slider up a bit to adjust it. But for now, I'm going to leave it as is because the contrast looks great between the black and white image and the yellow text. However, I am going to adjust the contrast slider just to give our background image a bit more of a punch. Now that we're finished designing, you can click the pen icon at the top to rename your graphic. Then, make sure to click Save to avoid losing any progress, and you can download it as a Retina JPEG for the highest quality and best results. The final step is to upload your thumbnail to YouTube. If you're adding your thumbnail to a video that has already been uploaded, you can just head into YouTube Studio, select Content, and then find the video that you want to add your thumbnail to, and click Details. Then, you can just scroll down under the description box and click Upload Thumbnail. From there, just make sure to select the file for your new thumbnail, and hit Save in the top right corner to publish your changes. If you're uploading a brand new video, you can click Upload Thumbnail under the description box, select the file for your new thumbnail, and then just continue with completing the rest of the upload process. Well, that's all for today's video. If you learned something new, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.